There are a lot of different types of maps that are available to use for hunting, and hiking, and exploring. For instance, uh, Google Earth Pro is a new uh, program out that is really helpful in finding uh, some very valuable information on the terrain and what exists in certain areas. But other times, topo maps are the best way to go. In this video, I'll show you four basic principles for creating your own custom topo maps. First, go to the U.S. Geological Survey website. They have the maps. Once you have the map that you want, you'll use the Print Screen System Request key on the keyboard to copy the image. Now, on newer keyboards, the key will probably just say Print Screen. The next thing that you'll do is open up a program that allows editing of images. Something like uh, Microsoft Word will work. Uh, Photoshop is better. There are a number of different programs that allow this. Once you have the image into the editing program, you can then customize the map any way that you want. So let's go over this in a little bit more detail. First, you go to the U.S. Geological Survey site, and the address for that on the internet is right there up at the top in red. Now, this site has all kinds of different features that are very useful and very interesting, so I encourage you to explore these at your leisure. But right now, for this presentation, we're just going to select the option for the topo maps. Once you get to the map locator page, you're going to enter a city name or the name of a topo map or some significant landmark like a lake or a reservoir into the search box. Now you may have to experiment a little because not all the search names that you use are going to work. So just do a little experimentation until you get what you want. Once you get to the general area that you're interested in, you then have the option to zoom in or zoom out or move the map around to find the spot that you're more specifically interested in. A feature that I've found very useful is the Mark Points feature, which is indicated by this red arrow. So you just click on that, and then you click on the specific area of the map that you're interested in, and then that point will include all of the maps that pertain to that specific spot. When you click on the little red marker, a subscreen will come up and will show you a lot of the options that are available for the topo maps that cover that particular area. It will also show you uh, the date of the map and the size of the map. Once you select a map from that menu, another screen will come up and will show you in more detail the maps that are available for that area. It also shows that you can uh, purchase those maps, but you don't want to do that. Instead, what you want to do is download the map and then modify it, and I'll show you how to do that. After you've selected a map, this is the screen that comes up, and this is the map that you will download. Downloading the map is easy. You just click on the photo of the map, and the download will start automatically. Once it's uh, downloaded to your computer, open it up. This next part is very important. It includes a trick that a lot of people don't know. Now, once you've downloaded the map, you can uh, zoom in on it and scroll around and take a look at some very close-up features on the topo map, which is great when it's on the computer. But what if you want to take the map out into the field with you? If you print it now, it will come out on 8.5 by 11 inch paper, and the scale of the map will be so small that it's almost useless. So this next portion of what I'm going to talk about here has to do with printing the map on paper but with a very high magnification that you can use in the field. So here's an example of the topo map and I've zoomed in and this is a 700% magnification of the specific area that I'm interested in. When you have the image on your screen of the map that you want to print, what you do is push the Print Screen System Request button, or sometimes it's just labeled as Print Screen. 
Pushing the print screen button does not automatically cause the image to be printed. What you have to do is open up your editing program at this point. And in this example, I've opened up Microsoft Word, but you can use any program that allows editing of images. And once you've opened up that program, what you use is the control key and the V key to paste the image into that program. When you paste your map into your editing program, initially it'll look something like this. Next comes the process of editing the image that you have in your editing program, of course. So you can uh, add arrows, you can add text, you can uh, add all sorts of things. You can make the image larger. I've changed this so it's now in a landscape mode. So it's just a question of how many features you know how to use in the editing program that you're working with. Once you've done all the editing that you want to do, you're ready to print out your free custom topo map.